today is the day when the steel is coming just so it would give me a bit of time to talk about the logistics of it all my sizings and calculations have to be right because we've pre-ordered the windows because of the long lead times so i've had to commit to these sizes that means that the steelwork which encloses some of the large window sections needs to be absolutely accurate and I'm going to find out today if, if that is indeed the case. The other thing I'm nervous about is the foundation levels and whether they're all correct and level and flat and easy to bolt to. Well, to get the steel in, the lorry transporting has an integrated crane, which we call a HIAB, and the fabricator has arrived with a few of his men to help me get the steel work in place. Now it wouldn't be a building project of course if you didn't have a problem come up that you never planned for and here we had the issue of an existing house built by a nationally known house builder only a few years ago but with walls that were not plumb nor square so out in two directions. So in true building site style it's never as easy as all that and uh, I've just found out the walls are all squint and bulging at the bottom so we're going to have to uh, use this still saw here and uh, cut into the block at the bottom and the brick hopefully that's going to uh, make enough room to get the, the columns in because if not we're going to have to take the columns away and cut the beams in, in the workshop which is just going to be one big pain so let's see if this is going to do the job Well, after some toing and froing, we got there with some additional shimming and wedging provided by the steel fabricator. And in order to get these beams in, we had to split the beams into three sections and join them with these plates. And we've got resin anchor bolts down to the pad foundation that we poured last week. Even with the beam broken up into these three elements we need a mechanical lifter. I call it a genie or jenny and you can hire one for a couple of days for a very low cost. The whole thing went in in one day and then it's a case of what we call dry packing the gaps in the steel to make it rigid against the wall above and this is a combination of a stiff mortar mix that we press into the gaps here the mix is specified on the engineer's drawings along with thin steel wedges hammered in and I've seen slate used before as well. Leave it a week or two to ensure all the packing is good. Monitor for any cracks or stress marks in the room above and without any worry at all you can remove the props and the needles, sit back, flex your muscles and feel wonderful at the fantastic job that you've just completed. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my other videos about building an extension and hit me a thumbs up to help me make more.